So you will have um, the 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 opportunity to see uh, how it's made from uh, from starting from this point, uh, and you will see how much time I spent uh, doing uh, doing this. Uh, it might get boring, so uh, I don't know. I usually uh, the the uh, this kind of job it takes me about half an hour to, to 45 minutes.
So basically, this is the preamp that it's wired and it's working uh, and it's it's done from this point of view. Now I'm going to, let's see if I, if I can give you a small look, uh, nope, not here, maybe here, nope. Uh, let's see okay so yeah basically it's quite okay uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to keep my fist clenched and say hallelujah because I'm going to apply some voltage and I'm going to make a preliminary check on uh, on the high voltage pre uh, on the high voltage SMPS so the first time, the first test point I'm going to do, it's here, which will actually indicate me a voltage of 240, 239 volts. Uh, then I'm going to see if the voltage on the anode pins are approximately at, at the same level. Now. Now that we, we checked that, I'm going to put out the power. I'm going to get a tube. A standard JJ ACC83. Well, this one is uh, ACC83S. After that, uh, I'm going to put it out of the box and put it inside the preamp uh, it's quite easy to to pull out the the tube out of the socket uh, right now you will have to keep in mind that the socket is new and may add some uh, some some mechanical it will take some mechanical strength to to actually put it inside but once it's there it's quite secured and uh, you will never have any problems with it and in the eventuality that you will have to change it it will change very easily when you're going to pull it out and uh, put another new tube back in uh, none of the users had any problems with that so uh, what I'm going to do now, it's leave it a little bit to to settle down from the. So we have until we get a full emission for from the tube. Uh, regard regarding the fact that it is new, it will take a little bit to burn in. Uh, maybe a couple of hours of functioning. So we have 235 volts coming out of the SMPS and we have on the anodes we have 158 and uh, on the other one 157. That is quite correct uh, for, uh, for this preamp. Usually I will tweak it after it will burn in at about uh, 240 volts, 250 volts on uh, on the anode voltage. Uh, that would put me here uh, on around uh, 160, around the uh, around the 160, 165 volts. Uh, so I, I'm not I'm not going in the upper register with it because uh, there is no need to do that. It's uh, it has a, a lot of uh, clean headroom as it is, and uh, there is no uh, no need to to actually uh, go up with the with the anode voltage. So guys, uh, this is actually a, a live version of 
an assembly job for uh, for the preamp. After that, I will apply another uh, warning etiquette uh, on the main PCB, and uh, that's it. That's all. Pack it, wrap it up, and send it. Uh, thank you for watching this, uh, and I hope that you and my clients will actually understand why it takes me a little bit longer to uh, to build a unit. Uh, well, that is the main reason, and please keep in mind, it took me approximately, let's say, 25 minutes for uh, for for the actual wiring, which was pretty fast. But I'm not always working at the full capacity. Uh, but uh, you'll have to keep in mind that everything from uh, uh, from drilling the enclosure to to actually painting the enclosure, uh, adding the artwork. Uh, uh, everything it's made by me solely and uh, actually I'm like I said one man then so this is it that's all uh, thank you for watching again this is Dexter from uh, Dexter's workshop